Burgers are easy to cook, but hard to master. However, there's one secret hack that'll keep them juicy every single time. Ask five people the secret to a great burger, and you will get five different answers. Some will say it's the type of meat you choose, which is no doubt an important factor. High-quality meats will obviously make your burger taste better than lesser cuts. Others will tell you it's the amount of meat you use to make your patties. Making them too thick or too thin can have a serious impact on how they are cooked. Of course, the secret may also be in the seasonings you use or adding a bit of butter to your patties. Some will tell you that the type of pan is the secret to the best burger or whether each patty is well done or medium rare. No matter how you cook yours, there's one very cool trick that will mean you always keep your burger patties juicy. All right, everyone. Chill. Master Chef Judge Graham Elliott recently explained to Fox News that the secret to juicy burgers is something that you can find in just about any kitchen – regular ice cubes. According to Elliott, you simply make your patties as you normally would, then put a single ice cube in the center of each one and fold the meat around it. When you grill the patty, the melting ice cube keeps it from drying out by distributing more moisture throughout the patty. Let's kick some ice. The great thing about using an ice cube is that it's made of plain water. Therefore, it won't impact the flavor of the seasonings you use in the patty. It's also readily available. The downfall, though, is that most ice cubes tend to be a little thick for the average-sized burger patty, so you will need to make the patties thick enough to wrap around the cube. If the patty is too thin, it will lead to a deformed shape as the cube melts and the meat cooks. You can also just place your patties on the grill and place an ice cube in the center of each patty, pressing it down gently. This means you can make the patties as thick as you want since it keeps you from having to fold the cube into the meat. Then you just cook the patties like you normally would without the risk of deforming them. You should also keep in mind that if you cook your burgers rare, using an ice cube to keep the meat moist may not be the best move. Rare burgers are cool in the center, meaning the ice cube won't melt if you're cooking it this way. You will want to cook the burgers to at least medium rare if you plan to use an ice cube to keep the patty juicy so that you can ensure you don't end up biting into ice. Of course, that's not all you need to know if you're planning on cooking a burger to perfection. A medium rare burger is a burger that has been cooked to an internal temperature of around 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 63 degrees Celsius. When cooking a medium-rare burger, it should be grilled for about 3 to 4 minutes per side, depending on the thickness of the patty and the heat of the grill. You can use a meat thermometer to check the internal temperature of the patty to ensure it has reached 145 degrees. It is important to note that consuming undercooked or raw meat, including beef, can lead to food poisoning. To mitigate this risk, many people like to eat their burgers well done. A well-done burger is cooked to an internal temperature of around 160 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 71 to 74 degrees Celsius. When cooking a well-done burger, it should be grilled for longer than a medium-rare or medium burger, usually around 5 to 7 minutes per side. Once the burgers are cooked to your liking, remove them from the grill and let them rest for a few minutes before serving, and presto, you've rustled up a tasty burger.